what is truth? Is truth an object? You close your eyes and you will experience truth. Or you go to temple or mosque or church and there you will experience truth. What is truth or haq? Truth is your subjectivity. This you have to understand. You are here, the whole world is here. Whatever you see is an object, but there is something that who is seen, and that which is seen is the subject. In silence, all objects disappear, and the word object has to be remembered. It is the same word as objection. It comes, the two words, object and ob objection, come from the same root object. Object means that which prevents you, that it is opaque and object is matter and matter is opaque. You cannot see beyond this. So all preventions, all objects, all objections disappear. You have the whole infinity and just silence. It is full of consciousness, it is full of a subtle presence, full of your being, but you will not find anything as truth or haq or anything. And it is always there, only you are not available to this. Nanak said, Ek Omkar. Truth alone is solitary and that alone exists. But you will not find anything as such truth because it is not an object. It instead it is your subjectivity. And the moment you are trying to find truth, it will become an object and truth can never be an Truth can never be an object, it is your sub subjectivity. To discover your subjectivity, unhindered, unobjected, to buy anything in its total infinity and eternalness is the essence of truth or truth itself. Truth is only a way of speaking. There is nothing that is labeled as truth. That one day you will find and open the box and you will see the content. Yes, I have found truth. There is no such box. Your existence is truth. And when you are silent, you are in truth. And if the silence is absolute, then you are the ultimate truth. But do not think of truth as an object. This comes to you when you are a witness. Just as the feeling of being a child can be experienced in two ways. You can be a witness and the experience of childhood can be an object. Then one more step is needed. You have to be purity, the innocence of child, not separate. You are it. Then you experience truth. It will come. This is how it comes. First it comes as an object. You are still separate and watching it. This is beautiful, a great experience. All that rubbish is thrown out and you are feeling pure and innocent state. But you are still separate from it. Just go on witnessing it. Witnessing is the key to experience truth. 
and soon even the childhood will disappear and there will only be a witness, a subjectivity. There will only be the mirror without mirroring anything, just empty. Then you have arrived home. You can mirror beautiful things and it is good. But when the mirror is absolutely empty, then truth is. One of the Buddhist scripture is called the empty mirror that exactly describes the ultimate state of consciousness which is truth. When you simply are and there is nothing, not even childhood, not even silence, not even peace, not even blissfulness, nothing that you can observe. This ocean of nothingness surrounds you. This ocean of nothingness that surrounds you is known as nirvana or awakening or enlightenment. There is nothing more to explore. This, there is nothing more to find. But as it is going, is good. You are changing. Even to feel one's childhood is a great experience. But still there are more experiences. So do not stop. Continue the journey until you are left alone without any content. The consciousness is without any content. That very moment you experience that which is truth or 